Welcome to Airworthy Tours, your guide in the sky. My name is Captain Phillip, and today I'm going to serve as your pilot and tour guide as we take a tour of Hollywood, where we'll see and learn about the history of Hollywood and its iconic landmarks. But before we get started, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel to be a part of future aerial tours. We are clear for takeoff, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the tour. Our first stop is the Hollywood sign. The original sign was created in 1923 and read Hollywood Land. Its purpose was to advertise a new housing development in the hills, and developers expected the sign to last a year. However, things took off with the rise of filmmaking in Hollywood, and it became synonymous with the film industry. In 1949, the land part of the sign was dropped, making it just Hollywood. Unfortunately, the sign would greatly deteriorate over the ensuing decades, and at one point, large parts of the letters were missing. However, a movement to revamp the sign was spearheaded by Hugh Hefner, who raised $250,000 for the cost of construction. In August of 1978, the old sign was demolished, and for the first time in more than 50 years, Los Angeles was without its Hollywood sign for three long months. In November of 1978, the new sign was unveiled to a television audience of 60 million. Today, the Hollywood sign stands at 45 feet tall, it is 450 feet long, and weighs 480,000 pounds. The Hollywood sign is arguably LA's most notable historical and cultural landmark. But despite this, the sign has been vandalized and altered on numerous occasions, prompting an increase in security. Let's talk about another Hollywood icon, the Hollywood Star. The stars below are part of the Hollywood Walk of Fame, which runs along Hollywood Boulevard for 1.3 miles from east to west and 0.4 miles north to south on Vine Street. Here, the bronze rimmed stars represent the entertainment industry's most recognized faces and names. Honorees include prominent actors, musicians, directors, personalities, and other important people from the areas of motion picture, television, radio, recording, and live theater performances. Today there are about 2,500 stars on the sidewalks, with a small number added each year. New nominees are announced each June. Our next stop is the intersection and strip of Hollywood and Highland, where you'll find many of Hollywood's historic landmark buildings. Ahead is the Hollywood First National Bank building, constructed in 1927 as a building for commerce and offices in the area, and a testament to Los Angeles and the Hollywood filmmaking industry. When it was first constructed, it was the tallest building in LA. However, the building has been vacant since 2008. Next is Hollywood and Highland, which is a large shopping center and complex consisting of over 640,000 square feet of space with over 50 retail shops and restaurants and several of Hollywood's hottest nightclubs. The complex is known for its Babylonian theme that recreates a 1916 movie set with two giant Babylonian elephants, each weighing more than 13,000 pounds. The complex is attached to the Dolby Theater, which is one of the world's premier entertainment venues. Formerly known as the Kodak Theater, the Dolby Theater is the annual venue of the prestigious Academy Awards and has been its venue since 2002. The Dolby Theater is 180,000 square feet and has 3,400 seats. Ahead is the historic El Capitan Theater, opened in 1926 as a play theater and converted into a movie theater in 1941. It was a site where legendary Hollywood director Orson Welles premiered his groundbreaking film, Citizen Kane. In the early 1990s, the Walt Disney Company purchased and renovated the building. The theater reopened its doors to the public on June 19, 1991, for the world premiere of Walt Disney Pictures' The Rocketeer. Other films premiered at the El Capitan include classic Disney and Pixar films, such as Toy Story, The Lion King, Hercules, A Bug's Life, The Incredibles, Pocahontas, and Tarzan. Below is the TCL Chinese Theater. This famous theater features Chinese design and decoration. The building has hosted three Academy Award ceremonies, and was the site for the very important premiere of Star Wars on May 25th, 1977. The next portion of the tour will be about music and entertainment in Hollywood. 
Below is the Hollywood Bowl, which is an amphitheater tucked in the Hollywood Hills. Since its opening in 1922, the Hollywood Bowl has been a premier destination for live music in LA and is known for its band shell and distinctive set of concentric arches. The Hollywood Bowl has a seating capacity of 17,500. Just a few of the notable musicians to play at the Hollywood Bowl include Billie Holiday, The Beatles, The Rolling Stones, Prince, Linkin Park, Lauryn Hill and Nas, and The Muppets. Ahead is the Capitol Records building, which is an LA landmark. Opened in 1956, the building is known as the House Nat Built, after the financial success of Capitol singer Nat King Cole. It is 13 stories tall and still houses Capitol Studios, the main recording studio with eight echo chambers and three studios. Notable albums recorded in the building include Surfing USA by The Beach Boys, Nice and Easy by Frank Sinatra, and Invincible by Michael Jackson. And we can't talk about Hollywood without mentioning the movie industry. A quick look at Paramount Studios, the only major studio based in Hollywood. While a lot of movies take place outside of LA now, most funding and distribution for box office movies still has to come through Hollywood. All the major film studios of Disney, Warner Brothers, Universal, Paramount, and Columbia slash Sony Pictures are based in Los Angeles County. We have a full tour coming soon that will be dedicated to the film studios of Los Angeles, so make sure to check it out. And our last stop is the Future Academy Museum of Motion Pictures, which is set to open on September 30th, 2021, after a number of delays. The Academy Museum will be the nation's first large-scale museum entirely dedicated to the art, science, craft, business, and history of filmmaking. The permanent and rotating exhibits will provide an immersive experience for visitors to explore the cultural and creative contributions that Hollywood and the film industry have made around the world. If you enjoyed today's tour, you can tip your tour guide by hitting the like button. Also, make sure to check out some of our other aerial tours of LA here. Thank you for flying with Airworthy Tours and we look forward to seeing you on our next flight.